Today is National Love Your Pets Day, so I wanted to give a shout out to my fur babies. There's Zoe the Chihuahua, Zoe, and Jax, my Australian cattle dog, just hanging out. Now, if you are in need of a fur baby of your own, you're in luck because it's time for this week's pet project. Erin Megan joins us from the NSPCA, and she brought along these two little bold love bird cuties. This oh is Brewster. Brewster. And? And Roxy. Ah, Brewster and Roxy. Oh, my God. Uh, They're brother so in love. And sister or no, boyfriend and no. girlfriend? Strictly husband and wife. They, husband and wife. The honeymoon is never over with these two. They are so in love. <laughs> I, can see, I can feel the love between the two. They want to get back to each other. Yes. What kind of pups are we talking about so here? So, Roxy is a Chihuahua Corgi mix. She definitely has a little Corgi bum bum. And so, she's got a nice little. Cute little. You're showing my booty yeah. on TV. <laughs> and, um, and he is a Yorkie. Oh, yes, so Brewster cute. is a Yorkie. He's 10 years old. She's seven. They still have so much energy. They get along well with other dogs. They just want to sit in your lap and give kisses. They love following each other around. They literally need to be within like five feet of each other. Uh, someone's watching right now, wants to bring home these fur babies. They come as a pair. We're not going to split yes. up these two. We are committed to keeping bonded pairs together. So they clearly have a bond. And we know that, you know, they've lost the family that they've known. Why should we take their best friend away mm -hmm. from each other? So we are committed to finding them a home together. And and, you know, we're open Monday through Thursday, 10 to 4, Friday and Saturday, 10 to 5, so How come on down. How are they barkers? How are they crate trained? Well, you know what? I will say that I believe that they are house trained because I had them hanging out with me in my office today, uh -huh. and there was no accidents, and then we went outside. They were running all over the place, and they were great in the car, so oh, I don't want to make good any promises, car? but I haven't had any accidents. Good on the leash? <laughs> yes, very good on the leash. They were great with the groomer today. Um, they are. They yes. got all fancy oh, on the TV Brewster today. Probably lost a couple of pounds just in front today. And Roxy's little fluffy coat is really coming out. We thought she was just like a little, you know, straight hair chihuahua, but she's really got a little fluff to her. A question I never thought I would ask you in all the times we've been doing this. How are they in the snow? <laughs> I know, right? You know? Exactly. Well, you know what? The, um, we didn't have too much snow stick around in the place. Yeah, so we they were made good. sure that they weren't, um, you know, exposed to the elements. Now, so. someone that is watching, they have a dog. Can they bring their doggy down to you guys to see if they get along? Absolutely. It's not a requirement that you bring your animal in, but we'd love to be, you know, a resource to the uh, community if they'd like to do meet and greets on neutral grounds and just kind of get a good idea if it's going to be a great match. We have our adoption counselors are very happy to do that with you. I love it. If you're interested in adopting a pet, head over to the NSPCA on Dewey Drive or call them at 702-873-7722. Ted, they're staring at you. They are. We and they look home. so warm. Too. Oh, they are. <laughs> They're great. Oh, this is the tough part when you come in. I want to adopt like all the dogs. I'd have a house full of dogs right now. <laughs> wow, he really talks? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah.